Welcome back to Homestead, Mississippi. Well, today's kind of a, a gloomy day up here in Indiana. That's where I am. I don't know if I mentioned that, but my goodness, if the trees don't look nice and pretty out here, you can hear the uh, traffic kind of on the road here. So, not like being at home and in the woods. You see the colors are changing up here. Kind of nice. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I was going to sit down and talk to you about what I wanted to talk about today and do it out here, but it's uh, literally as soon as I started getting set up, it started raining. So I'm going to close this door and go in here. Well, kind of want to talk about planning, making plans. You know, we're, if you don't have a vision, sometimes you, you just do things or you don't do anything. So having a plan is very important. I'm gonna try to move some stuff around here to give some light in here. It's not very bright in here. And I need it to be brighter. I want it to be brighter. All right, I think that got it a little brighter in here. Just gonna move some stuff around. One of the things that we're planning on doing is I'm gonna buy a tractor. So I don't think waiting until January is a smart thing to do to wait and see, you know, what do we wanna buy? How do we wanna buy it? You know, do we want new? Do we want used? You know, I think those plans need to begin, you know, in motion now. So that's what I'm going to do and uh, just have a few questions I wanted to ask y'all too, you know, if you've got a tractor, what's been your experience? You know, do you, do you like Mahindra's? Do you like, uh, oh, let's see here. What brand do you like? There's Mahindra, there's John Deere, there, there's all kinds. So, so what, what brand do you like? Uh, I kind of would like to have one that's got a bucket on it. So I, I'd like to have some forks. I'd like to have a bucket so I can move dirt around. Uh, I'm going to need a bush hog. I'm going to need a tiller. And I would like to have a small baler for hay. So all those... I've got to figure out what I want, how much it's all going to cost. Those are things that we really do need. A bush hog, definitely. A baler, definitely. And, you know, the other things are kind of added. We don't have to have a tiller, but I would like to have a tiller. Uh, especially if we're going to do a larger garden. So here's John Deere. Let's see here. John Deere. John Deere tractors. You know, do, do we want to go new or do we want to go old? I'm looking at the compact. I don't need a utility tractor and I definitely don't need a specialty tractor. I'm looking at the compact. So let's see here. Series 22, series, 2 series, you know, 1 series, 2 series, 3 series, 4 series. Uh, let's, let's check out the 2 series. Just for for kicks here. I like that. It's got a hole on the back, a seat back there for it. Uh, that might be a little more than what I need, but hey. Here they are. This is the two series. 2025, a 2032, 2038. And look at there. Luckily, look at there. They are on sale. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're always on sale. Yeah, when when they say on sale, I, I never like buy. Oh, well, all right, we're gonna get a discount now. 
That just means they're, they're for sale. Yeah. Well, here's the list price of this 2032 is 28,300. So there we have that, and that's just the base. Oh, look here, build your own. Somehow I got clicked into that. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, the, the loader is 5,400 additional. So now we're looking at $30,000 just for uh, a tractor. So let, let's see if I can build my own and see what we can get up to. Yeah, I'm afraid of John Deere now. It looks pretty costly. Let's move on to the next one. See what else. Uh, that's a 2032, and that's really probably about what I would need is a tractor of that size. So let, let's go to, how about Mahindra. Let's try Mahindra. I don't want to find a dealer. I want to shop. Tractor 101. Here we go. Ask the right questions. That's why I'm here. How many acres do you own? What type of property do you own? You know, I, I know what I want. That's kind of nice. They're trying to walk you through it. Uh -huh, doo -doo. Tractors. There we go. I just want to look at them. There we go. So you get subcompact, compact, compact utility. Um, hmm. I'm thinking compact utility is the route that I would need to go. You know, they've got the compact, which looks interesting, but I'm, I'm going to go the compact utility. All right. So they've got the 1600, 2600. I, I will go. Let's explore the 1600 series. It's got a seven year warranty. And they've got the 1626, the 1635. Hey, look, the 1635 comes with a little friend. Look at there, it comes. There's two of them there. 1640, same thing. <laughs> now, these just come with the, the top. Let's see, let's build your own. Let's go with the uh, 1635 model. Build general. No cab. Don't need a cab. They start at 23,000. So that's the front end loader. That's this here. Backhoe. Complete. Hmm. Okay, so. The backhoe I don't really need. It would be neat. Let's take it off. Because we're looking over $30,000 already. Online it's not looking promising. Looks like tractors have increased in price greatly since I, I checked on them last. Probably about $10,000. Uh, for new ones. Well, couldn't find much on New Holland. I'm going to try a Kubota. See if I can just pick it up. I'm just wanting to look at their website. Here's a Kubota USA. Here we go. See, this is what I'm looking for here. Standard L series. They started at 15. That's better. Much better. This is a real tractor. Build my Kubota. Let's see here. All right. So with the loader, it's already up back up to twenty-seven thousand. I don't know how it went from fifteen to twenty-seven real fast. So I've done checks on three different tractors so far. I tried to get the Kub uh, I tried to get information on New Holland as well. And right now, it looks like online a new tractor in just base starting out is well over twenty thousand dollars all right um i'm gonna have to think about that do we want to finance it or do we want to go ahead and all out try to purchase it uh i'm not certain how we want to go here 
I'm, I'm a bit concerned because I don't want to go that high. Uh, we're going to have to wait on this and see. Now, I guess I could check on the prices of used tractors in, in, in our area. Uh, there's a, a baler. That's a large baler. Another lawnmower. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. 1979 Ford 5600. Look at that. That's pretty. Uh, 10,000. That seems a little high for a 1956. I know they run well. Several photos. Comes with the loader. The tires look good in the pictures. It could, it could stand for a good paint job. You know, if it, if it works, it might actually be worth it. I like the older tractor sometimes. It's got a good, they put replaced the seat. That's good. So they're looking to try to sell it. Look at this, a 2009 used, it's more of a lawnmower. And they're asking 16000 That's not going to happen. I'm definitely not going to do something like that. Ah, here we go. Mahindra. The only problem with this one. A used Mahindra 6900 it, is it's it doesn't have the front end loader so and I don't think I could uh, get one with it two wheel drive but hey that's not a bad price not a bad tractor so this is getting more back into what I'm looking at now here's a, another older one I, I don't mind going older I just want a, uh, a front end loader look at there that's nice New Holland 18,000 not what I'm looking for though. 2016 Kubota, 26,000. Looks nice. It's a larger tractor than that, what I think I, I need. Just like this one here, 36,000. It's a 2020. There's a John Deere 5103 front end loader. That's a large tractor, 18,000. That's a very large tractor. Two wheel drive. Very large tractor. Definitely the pricing I'm looking at. You know, I'm, I'm really considering going used on a tractor. Uh, you know, if you guys can give me a little wisdom on that, how, how you guys feel about it. I just think tractors are something, I mean, they last. So as long as I'm not getting something that's been destroyed, and, and it's in good good enough condition and it, it runs, I feel comfortable going used. You're getting it for a, a portion of the price and I, I just don't see where I'd be going wrong by going used. Buying new, we'll have to finance. I'm not certain if that's the route I wanna go. So, gives us an idea, a direction to go. Please, I'm asking for help. <laughs> If you have any ideas or any suggestions, I'm leaning towards purchasing a very good used tractor. I, I need a front end loader. I need a bush hog. I would prefer to get a baler. I'm seeing the baler probably coming later where I have to buy one. Again, I'll find a used one that's probably in good condition. And, and all, all of this, you know, I'll probably have to piece them together. And I'm okay with that. Uh, it looks like I can do that for a fraction of the price of going new. Any ideas on new versus used? Please, leave me a comment. I'm going to come on here and give you a few videos going forward for the next few weeks in preparation for next year. So I need your help at helping us to prepare. And this is a, a, this is a big one. This is a tractor. It's going to be a very large purchase. And I want to make sure that what we get is what we need. I want to make sure that what we get is worth what we pay for. And I'm not certain if going new is the answer. I'm struggling with that. When I can't think I can get a used one for a portion of the price. I'm gonna struggle with this, so please, 
leave me comments, give me a hand. I need your help. All right. Well, I'm not gonna, you know, drag you down with this. This is could be long. I could sit here and talk and talk and talk. Hey, y'all be good. I appreciate everything you do. Uh, I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please subscribe. Michael O'Neill's my name, Homestead, Mississippi. Homesteading is what we do. My family, I miss them greatly. If you didn't know, I am out of town working until the end of the year. And I miss those babies like crazy and they miss me. So anyway, <laughs> Mima, Maya, Eli, Gabriel, Genesis and Octavia, love y'all. See y'all soon. Everybody, y'all be good. Be blessed. See you next time.